So then, about the second floor of this hospital. I mean, I mean, like, <laughs> yeah, it's spooky here. I'm not going to pretend otherwise, it's a hospital. They're naturally spooky, even in, you know, real life, <laughs> normal circumstances. But, that aside, all that's... Are you coming? <laughs> Make an entrance, why don't you? Um, yeah, all that said, I, I think we're fine. We got 16 bullets, we got some syringes, we got a pretty cool lead pipe and a walking distraction. Who I'm repeatedly trying to blind. I think I'll be fine. I think I'll be fine. What could possibly go wrong? Just gotta find this little girl and uh, save her, I guess. Is that what we're doing? We're just sort of randomly chasing a little girl, to be honest. It's a bit weird, in all honesty. Oh, did she go out the window? Are we good to just leave? Yeah, it's raining, James. It does that sometimes. Plants need it. Circle of life and all that. Where did Maria go? Oh. Maria? I thought we'd had companionship for a bit too long. It takes the edge off a horror game when there's someone else there with you, you know, so. Oh, actually, no. We're following her. You okay? I'm sorry. That's fine. What's going on? Are you hurt? It's nothing. Probably just a hangover. Oh, share. Sure. Maybe you should rest. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Mm. So comfy. I love the blood stains. Hmm. I'm gonna go look for Laura. I'll be back as soon as I can. James? I wanted to ask you. What if you can't find Mary? What will you do? I haven't really thought about that. Back soon, okay? I got back soon. She looks fucking dead. <laughs> She's moving slightly. Sorry, I just need a moment. Yeah, I get it, I get it. Those hangovers can be murder. To be fair, I cannot handle hangovers at all. Like, not even slightly. I'm such a little baby man when it comes to hangovers. Right. Okay. So we're, we're just sort of deserting her in this unexplored place full of danger. Take care of what matters most. Leave the rest to us. I can't see what that says at the bottom. Toluca Palliative Care Centre. Oh, uh, palliative care, that's like end of life care, right? Right? That's like when everything's fucked and you just need to offload your dying relative somewhere. Ooh, save point. Really wasn't expecting that. I thought we'd only be getting the one in here. It's good though. I'll take it. Means you won't have to rewatch that cutscene. <laughs> Okay. Um, let's see if we can go through here. 
Wasn't expecting that to be a yes, honestly. We'll bear that in mind. I want to explore these side rooms first. Another toilet. Very generous with the toilets in this hospital. I guess, you know, if you've got a lot of impatience and stuff, you need a lot of toilets. Reasonable, I guess. Oh. Lab coat? Interesting. Is this like the, the doctor's toilet then? Oh, we can open this. And that gives us access to the stairwell. We can pop back up and down whenever we need to. Very good. Are we certain Laura didn't just go out the window? Are we sure about this? She's been tricksy in the past. She's been hard to follow. I could be wandering around here aimlessly and she might not even be here anymore. I don't know why this room's giving me the creeps. This one specifically. I felt threat when I came in here. Seems fine though. Seems great actually. We ignore that. We don't pay attention to that. This was the nice room that gave me the bullets. And that's all we need to know about. Okay, can't go this way. So, this hallway is safe, cleared, and just giving me positive vibes. This hallway, less so. I think there's something in the darkness up there. I can't actually tell. The fuck is that noise? Holy fuck, what was that noise? I'm just gonna... Nope. This side, maybe? Oh, I do not want... I just do not want to. Nice to meet you. I guess I'm not the only one who can use a pipe. Fuck. Fuck. It's not dead. That was a fucking bullet sponge. Is that a nurse? Pretty twitchy. You're definitely dead. Are you sure? Are you certain you're dead? I'm trying to work out what's going on with the face. Is it like a latex mask? Or just like a bag, I guess, over the head? Sus. Oh, this place sucks, man. Ugh. This game has not had me this creeped out since the first apartment building. Where? I hear it, but I don't see it. It's very loud for something I straight up cannot see anywhere. Actually, where the hell? There's clearly no enemy here. The game's just lying to me. It's making gurgling noises when there's no enemy about. It's not like in the air vents or something, is it? Even James has put his gun away. There's nothing here. Ok, 
key. And this one requires a code. The code has been reset to what we agreed on during yesterday's meeting in the doctor's lounge. Like I said, I don't want anyone writing it down on little bits of paper for me to find. Be responsible, people. Hopefully that means someone's going to write it down on little bits of paper for me to find. We have a broken elevator. Don't know where this one goes. I guess maybe down to the parts of the first floor we weren't able to explore. And we can't go that way. Okay, cool. So despite the ominous essence of this room, aside from that one spooky nurse lady, actually fairly safe. It's very dark though, so it's the sort of room that I feel like I'm going to casually walk back into expecting it to be safe later and they will have spawned something in there, you know what I mean? Classic horror game shit. Nope. Yep. Yeah, there's something written on it. Do you want to like pick it up and look at it, maybe? Instead of just staring at it from a distance. There's writing on that piece of paper right there. Or piece of cloth or whatever it is. Why are we so fascinated with this bin? Very weird. Guess I'll take more of them for future purpose. Do actually need to find the shotgun at some point. Hopefully that'll make us deal with these nurse ladies a little bit quicker. Because if they're all going to take that many bullets, I am going to run out very quickly. No clue where I'm going, by the way. Ooh. That was an effective jump scare. That got me. That got me. Ah, oh, look who it is. Hello there. Wait till you see the whites of their eyes. That fake out death is just rude, honestly. Pretending to fall down and then not actually. Can we go in here? Oh shit, we can. Why is there a. P Wait. Um. <laughs> I'm not the only one whose mind's going where his mind's going, right? I'm not the only one who sees a big life-size statue of a fist and wonders what exactly the person who owns the office was doing with it. Uh, search? Hmm... Patient interview transcript annotation. The following interview is conducted with S. Choir. No. In response to incident 71, I remember lying in water, empty, and then I felt him. Felt him stare. He was close. Very close. I had to get out, had to get away, but he followed, so kept staring. So I made him stop. Now I'm empty again. Can we go back to the pool? Okay. And the big eye, this isn't... No, it's not a... It's obviously a reference to the talk of staring. I didn't know if there was like a hole that we could peer through. Just blank pages there. Okay. Anything waiting for me out here now? Um, oh, I didn't actually want to open that. <laughs> I didn't realise I could. <laughs> I 
I am so nearly out of bullets, it's not funny. I should have just meleeed that one, honestly. I think our new melee weapon is considerably better than the original one. And four bullets isn't enough to kill a nurse. Maybe it is if I hit every shot, but you know me. Where the fuck are we going? Let me just back up for a minute and check my map. I'm just sort of taking doors at random, and I feel like I've not properly investigated anything yet. I hate how the combat static is happening. Because it makes me think something's about to leap at me, and I don't want to check my map while that's happening. <sighs> okay. Okay, interesting. Oh, so that door that we just opened is back to the... I'm actually going to go embrace that fully before we go any further. Because this is back to the safe hall. Which I will repeatedly refer to as the safe hall, right up until it stops being the safe hall. We all know it's coming at some point. Uh, empty slot, please. Or I have no bullets, and I'm not super comfortable with my current situation, but such, as they say, is life. That plant freaked me out then. I thought it was another crouching little fucker. It's not taking much at the moment, I'll tell you. I am easily creeped. Alright, let's check this room out then. I get the feeling it's going to suck in here. You know what? Saving the bullets. There is another one. There are two in here. No, stop, stomp. Okay, that's dead. We got them both. Is there a third? I feel like there might be a third. Are we good? I think we're good. Okay. Honestly, handled that relatively well. Used one bullet, got two bullets. Lost a tiny bit of health, but that's fine. Presumably we can open this from this side for whatever worth that has to us. We don't really need to go back that way. Oh, shotgun shells as well. And... Nope. Healing. Okay, yeah. Fairly beneficial, all things considered. Okay. Alright. Let us continue onwards, then. We'll check out the fisting room. And then we'll finally go down the hallway where that nurse was definitely trying to lead us. Anyone spooky in here? Another save point. Truly fascinating. What in the name of fuck is this? Let's go embrace the save point first. Let's make full use of this before we start just doing things. So, in this little room, we have a another little room that we can't get into just yet, where the uh, hospital CEO, or whoever the fuck owns this office, hides his deep, dark little secrets. I'm sure that won't be horrifying. We have... I'm actually going to toggle this on. Patient number 50, designation 301.3, patient room number C1. Was this the... Guy with the eyeball carved on the wall. Initial symptoms, sudden outbursts of aggression, visual and auditory hallucinations. Current diagnosis, current therapy is considered effective, unprovoked, outburst, decline, social interactions improved. All that is crossed out. What did I miss? 
Recommendations continue with the current therapy. Water has a calming effect. Well, it used to. Hmm. Okay, so someone was getting better and then started getting a lot worse. Patient number two, or 90, in fact. Designation 298, room number D1. Initial symptoms, sensory delusions. Current diagnosis, insomnia, refuses food, water. Delusions persist. Recommendations, forced feeding and hydration. That doesn't sound pleasant. Bathing required to be carried out in the treatment room. Sleep medication, constant surveillance. And patient number 130 in patient file 1, uh, designation 295.3, moved to L1 from S3, initial symptoms intense and unrelenting anxiety. Current diagnosis symptoms have intensified into full-blown paranoia, visual hallucinations, recommendations, increased medication, can't be left alone, moved to L1 for closer monitoring. monitoring. That might have been the guy in the eyeball room actually, the paranoia fella. Okay. Looks like we need to put three wristbands, probably from the three patients, on these. Hey, you like the guy's uh, persistence. Determined to help people. Alright, this is gonna suck. Oh? No? Just some sort of Freemason safe. Okay. Just gotta learn the secret ancient language and we'll be in there. Yeah, we don't have this one solved just yet, unfortunately. Maybe eventually, though. Okay. Really expected that to suck. Really expected to open that one up and have the worst time ever. I expected only bad things behind the curtain. Fortunately, though, actually not too bad. Right, okay. So, checking the map now. We have the safe in the hand, the secret door, yeah. Uh, yeah, that guy was in C1, so he's been moved to L1, which is where? Oh, down there, yeah, I see. And then we got one in C3, which was right back at the start. I guess we could go double check that place. And do we remember where the other one was? Was it not on this floor? It's not been marked on the map, at least. There is a third floor. It's up there. Okay. Okay. Might as well start by heading back to C3 then, I guess. What could possibly go wrong? This is a save point room. There's nothing in here, is there? Hmm. Interesting, okay. Oh, I'll change of plan. I guess we'll head to L1 next. And that should be just up here. How's the restroom? Safe? So far the restrooms haven't been too bad, to be fair. I've repeatedly expected something to leap out of a cubicle at me, but it's not happened. Something is breathing very loudly around here somewhere, but...
Oh, this is just back here. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, cool. We got an M5. Have no reason to go in here, but also no reason not to. No immediate reason not to, anyway. Reasons tend to present themselves, if you're thorough enough. No? M5? Pretty good. Pretty good room. Five stars on TripAdvisor. Is this another toilet? It's not one I can use if it is. This is L1, is it? On the right. Just, uh... No, guess we won't. The, the heavy breathing is just in the soundtrack, but it's so fucking creepy, man. Why can't I just hear heavy breathing all the time? This is the room we want to be in. I don't know if we can just go in through here. Yeah, I didn't think so. We're going to have to go the long way around, because of course we are. There's going to be something impeding my progress in this direction, I fear. We need a key for this as well. Okay, where might that be? Huh. I've been too unaccosted for a while. I'm a little bit concerned by it. How much not dead I am right now, you know? Oh, this is back to here. Yeah, that's cool. Open some shortcuts. This is the room we want to go in right here, but... Yeah, I figured as much. Shall we check out the women's locker room? I don't really belong there, but... Uh-huh. Let's not interact with that until we're done scouring the place for other stuff, shall we? Oh. Yes, thank you. I mean, I will stick with the handgun for now, because I don't think I have that many shotgun shells, right? reload it real quick I'm sure that will will deal with my real threats a lot easier than the pistol will though if a nurse rocks up on me then the shotgun is going to be very useful for that maybe we do just come prepared you know alright what is it what does it do what horrible things are going to happen as a result of it so it's just a needle sticking out the back of it Oh, it's like a, a voodoo doll. Are we going to use this to pick the door lock? Is that is that where this is going? There's somebody out there. Go on a dare you. Boo. 
You coming in? You are still standing. This shotgun is not as effective as I hoped. It was still alive. It was still alive. It was doing a fake out thing. No, it's other stats. It didn't stop till I stomped it. That's it though, right? That's all we're dealing with for now. Don't really want to go into L1. But needs must, I guess. No? Hmm. I thought that's what we were doing for sure. Just picking the lock. I guess James is just an everyman, right? He probably doesn't have fucking lock picking talents. Oh dear. Where, though? In here? I know you're here somewhere. Can we stop playing games, please? Pretty confident it's in that room. No reason to go upstairs just yet. Bonjour! It was not the best time to miss, to be honest, but... You're not dead. Stop pretending to be. Okay, we're back to pistol now. Guess that's better than nothing. What am I hearing now? Oh, well that's disappointing. You can't do that to me. I've been led to believe that those little fucking sandwich... It's just the TV static, isn't it? That's all I'm hearing. Oh, okay, cool. <sighs> Nothing? Come on. Come on, I've been through the ringer today. I don't get a little prize. Come all this way just for a key. No one feels like offering me maybe, you know, some bullets or, you know, anything that would make life a little bit easier right now. I guess we'll check the treatment room while we're here. We don't really technically have to, but why not? Uh, we can't. That's why not. <laughs> Understandable. Have a nice day. L1. I'm here now. dark in here. Oh, did I just see something in the background there? Oddly, I don't feel like super threatened right now. The vibes aren't as bad as I feel like they should be. What are we doing with this? Oh. The vibes are bad now, apparently. Where is it? Something's mad at my presence. I'm just not quite sure what. Also, what we're meant to do in here. I've, I've not figured that one out yet either, to be honest. Do we climb over here? I think maybe we bring it around here and climb over. I think that's the plan.
No. What are we doing? What am I missing here? Oh, oh, found it. Found it. There we go. Okay, this room feels safe. Door doesn't open. I'm sure they're not smart enough to climb through the window. I think we're good. <sighs> they brought in the guild today. Poor thing hasn't said a word. She just sits there, head in her hands, sobbing and quivering. I moved her to the corner bed. Seems to have calmed her down a bit. She even smiled at me, I think. That must be the patient. I'll admit, I know I said the vibes weren't bad, but they're certainly not getting better right now. <laughs> That's nice, though. That's a nice present for Joe. I accept those. What? What just happened? Was there like a rat or something? I don't really want to crawl through the hole in the wall, to be honest. Not really super down with that. But... I guess this is where the patient went. I guess we need to follow her. down through the crawl space to the first floor. I mean, James. Do you even know why you're doing this? What, what do you stand to gain from this behaviour? <laughs> do you think your wife's down here? Because, uh, hate to break it to you. Don't think she is. Oh, is he like claustrophobic or something? He's having a bad time right now. Okay, now where the fuck? Where the actual fuck? Oh, we're back at the lobby? I guess? Except we can't get through the door to the lobby. So I guess we crawl through here instead. Find out what nightmares await in this room. I'm trying to keep the noise down, believe me. This just says red rum on it. <laughs> Whole work and no play makes Homer a crazy boy or whatever the hell it was in that one Simpsons episode. You know the one. That is a typewriter though. Well spotted, James. I don't know what we're going to do with that, but I guess we'll remember its existence for the future. Come on, where's the spooky thing? I know it's here somewhere. Is this really a spook-free room? Didn't strike me as one. Oh. Well. Stuff just happened. But where? Round about there, I think. Where the fuck did that come from? How did that get in here? Why won't they help me? Why do they keep me in here with him? Oh dear. 
That's very ominous. This guy just dropped that, right? Was this the patient initially? And she's just been living down here in the records room trying to avoid the doctor, I guess? Is that the him we're talking about? Was he doing like unethical experiments to try and cure them of their craziness or whatever? Because it seems like some of them... At least one of them got worse. One of the patients got worse after they came to the hospital, right? So it might have been the doctor's uh, treatment that pushed them to the edge, you know? Just classic horror game shit, you know? So, where does this leave us? There's definitely more things to explore on this floor, but I don't think we can get to any of them yet. I think we need keys that we do not have. So, we did most of this floor now, to be fair. I think our next stop has to be going back upstairs and then all the way to D1. I might be overly optimistic assuming that the thing we're looking for, the, the bracelet we're looking for, is just going to be in D1, but... You know, we can but try. Do you think it's been long enough now that one of our safe areas is going to become a not safe area and they're going to trick me with the jump scare? I go check in on Maria real quick, see how she's getting on. It's nice to just have some grounding, you know, a person to talk to. Hey. Wasn't expecting a cutscene. Any luck finding Laura? Not yet. How are you holding up? I'll be okay. Just need a bit more rest. James. Thanks for checking up on me. It's very sweet of you. Yeah, no worries. Yeah. Uh, get some rest on. Back soon. Thought she was wearing a wedding uh, wearing a wedding ring. That was harder to say than it should have been for a second there, but it was on her middle finger, not her ring finger, so incorrect actually. Wrong facts from Joe there. Uh, I think this is a pretty good stopping point, to be honest. Another short video today, but uh, frankly, I get the feeling we might be about to undertake a bit of an expedition up to the fourth, third D floor, and that might take a bit of time, so uh, we'll call it here. Thanks for watching. More of this soon. Goodbye.